the always entertaining Webb Wilder tuning up his uh, his guitar there. Tuning. It's, talk, it's, talk about the guitar. How long you had that? When'd you get it? I've had this a long time. Uh, the Gibson people were kind enough to lay this on me a bunch of years ago, and uh, it's one of their Montana J200 acoustics, and I've, I've had it here before, and... Uh, you know, guitars, it doesn't matter who made them and what model they are. There's no two alike. And so J200 is a great Gibson model, but this particular one really floats my boat, and I, I like it. Did you hear about the guitars with the folding neck? Yeah, you know, Gretsch, I think, had that idea years ago and never really got in high gear with it. But somebody's doing that now, right? Yeah, I, I saw someone brought by a flyer. It's like, and they're not cheap. It's like eight hundred to two thousand dollars. But it's designed for the touring musician because these days, uh, not always easy to get a guitar with you on the plane. Exactly. Yeah, somebody was telling me about that just the other day. I can't remember who. Yeah. All right. Webb Wilder live on Lightning One Hundred. All right. Thanks, dude. I think we're in tune. You're a piece of work I'm sorry if that's too judgmental I don't want to be a jerk Even if it's experimental I don't think you even try It's too late anyhow Now you're too cool for love, baby what makes you such hot stuff? You're a little too cool for love, maybe. But when push comes to shove, it's not that you're above it, but you just don't want any part of it. Baby, what are you so scared of? Is it something in your past? Just a lack of presence Time is passing fast Have you got enough effervescence When you get there to the end And you've gone through all your friends What then? You're too cool for love, baby what makes you talk so tough? You're a little too cool for love, maybe. But when push comes to shove, it's not that you're above it, but you just don't want any part of it. Baby, what are you so scared of? I know you get around, you look but you don't see It's neither up or down, don't you know there'll never be no guarantees It's my goat It's a creepy feeling I guess that's all she wrote There's been a lot of dirty dealing When you get there to the end And you've gone through all your friends Will it drive you round the bend? What makes you think you're tough? You're a little too cool for love, maybe. But when push comes to shove, it's not that you're above it, but you just don't want any part of it. Baby, what are you so scared of? Yeah, it's not that you're above it, you just don't want any part of it Baby, what were you thinking of?
Lightning 100, Web Wilder. He's too cool for love. And uh, you can find that on his new record. It's out on Blind Pig Records, More Like Me. Uh, always great to have Web Wilder back here in the Lightning 100 studios. And we're looking forward to catching him out at 3rd and Lindsley this Saturday night. Uh, tell me about the show. Who's going to be uh, on stage with you? Well, it'll be the Beatnecks. Um, Jimmy Lester, who's been there uh, a long time on drums. Bo uh, Bob Williams on guitar. Tom Comet on bass and harmony vocals. And a... Uh, I'm not sure who's playing later that night. They basically do two shows a night. You know, we play so early, we don't have an opener. Uh, so it's us. And uh, it's cool. A lot of people dig the early show thing, you know, because they can go to another show, they can go to dinner, they can go to a movie, they can go home and sleep, they can take the babysitter home or whatever. And actually, the show the night before at Jim Porter's Good Side Emporium in uh, Louisville is, is pretty early, too. Nice. Well, that yeah, that does sound convenient. Uh, similar to the cast that's on uh, Web Wilder and the Beatniks, Born to Be Wilder. Yes, and uh, actually, that uh, was a uncommon instance in that there were three guitarists, counting myself and and George Bradfield, who's played on and off with me for many years and is on a bunch of the records, played guitar, and Tony Bowles also played guitar. Uh, but it's Tom and Jimmy, and um, you know, this was a fun thing to do. We did it at a, a club down in Birmingham. There's also a live DVD from this performance. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I, I believe originally uh, the, the live, the audio of the live DVD was available over in France first. Is that, that the same? Yeah, well, you know, the story there is we, the, the early packages of, of this had the DVD and the CD for free. And then um, they licensed the audio to France, uh, to a label in France called um, Dixie Frog, and they put it out as an album. And then uh, Blind Pig here wanted to put it out. And we said, hey, guys, we've been giving it away. They said, that's okay. And uh, we liked working with them, and so we, we did the new album, More Like Me, with them as well. I actually bought the first album they ever put out unknowingly. Uh, the first album they ever put out was in the 70s on a, a very rootsy, bluesy, rockabilly kind of band from Ann Arbor, Michigan called The Silver Tones. Is, have you uh, done much touring over in Europe? Uh, on and off. Back in the day, we did a lot of it pretty frequently, you know, in the um, uh, from like the, the early 90s into the mid 90s. And uh, and then sort of sporadically, we've been to Norway a couple of times in recent years and, and France, where I'd been many times earlier, but it had been years since I was there a couple of years ago. Uh, you mentioned uh, you have a DVD out of your performance. There's also a DVD out of some movies and, right. and some shorts that you've you've been in. In fact, when I mentioned uh, on Facebook that you're going to be on my show, people started asking about m more about the movie stuff. I had someone say, uh, uh, "Ask Webb when he's going to make a sequel to the horror hayride film." Is, well, is we sort of have, and uh, there 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 is a DVD with the films you mentioned, and it's available from WebWilder.com and all that. Uh, so people can get those old films like Horror Hayride, and it's a predecessor, Web Wilder Private Eye, but the sequel, so to speak, it's not really a sequel, but the latest film uh, where I sort of play a semi-private eye guy, Scattergun, has uh, been in some film festivals and uh, has shown at some of the gigs and here and there, but it at this point is not commercially available. Oh, uh, okay. So, so something in the future, possibly. There, there is webwilderfilms.com yeah, where I've they can see the that, trailer. That pulled up right here, webwilderfilms.com. And it looks like they have a collector's edition that kind of grabs a bunch of the different stuff. Right. So for, we just for, had the fourth annual WebFest in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And uh, there's some early WebFest footage on the DVD that's sold on the website. Oh, too. cool.